Hi Taurus, welcome to your bonus reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, with this reading, my intention is if some of your monthlies did not resonate for you, maybe something here will. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. It may or may not be uh, for everyone or just maybe parts of it. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching. It could be past, present, or future. It could be energies of someone around you, maybe affecting you, maybe uh, not you directly. So please only take the messages here that resonate. Don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading, if things don't resonate. And don't let, leave me negative comments because I will delete them. So I hope everyone's staying safe, doing well, uh, and staying healthy during this time. So Taurus, let's see. We're going to take a little look at love, see what's going on in love for you, and then what's going on in life for you at this time. And then we'll get some... Messages, guidance, um, messages from the universe, advice from spirit in the universe for you at this time. And then we'll clarify everything here with the tarot. So let's see what we have for Taurus at this time. And everything you need to know, Taurus, is down in the description box. How to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there. So feel free to check that out. And um, if you're new, feel free to check out my channel. And if you like my energy, my readings, uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Um love to read the comments and uh, hit the bell you won't miss out you get about five different readings a month so if you're interested uh, click on that bell and get your energy in the channel in the community and we'll get some readings for you hopefully they resonate all right so let's see what's going on with Taurus at this time in love with the collective spirit please this is a collective reading not a personal reading for Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter for Taurus, for the collective, messages most needed, spirit please, and love, I just want one, All right, that one, and then we'll do the bottom of the deck also, and we have 42, Our Lady of Love, well, and we have 42 here, which is about uh, balance, peace and balance, so definitely talking about love, so the heart's on fire here, heart's on fire, so are we in love, is this a new love, ongoing love? stable love fiery passionate love very balanced healing love for you taurus and on the bottom of the deck we have our lady of divine presence which is 14 which is five five is about change of some kind so this is the mother mary oracle so when it says our lady it is in reference to mother mary so So this is about making your presence known. Maybe for some of you now, you're in a connection where you're making it known to everybody. Okay, we're in a connection. We're committed. You know, this is my boyfriend. This is my girlfriend. Whatever here. Maybe it wasn't known. And now it's present. It's known to everybody that there is love here. And it's uh, a connection here. Or the divine energy is now present in this connection. Like knowing, divinely knowing. Um maybe divine uh, leading guiding um both people together in this connection hmm we're gonna clarify all that energy with the tarot all right so let's see what's going on in life for you taurus at this time the taurus collective let's take a little peek in life see what's going on in life for you taurus sun moon rising venus and jupiter the Taurus Collective Spirit, please. Thank you so much. No more shuffle. Thank you for Taurus. Take a peek at life. What's going on in life? The life of Taurus. What's going on in the life of Taurus for the Collective at this time? You know what? I'm feeling this one right here. All right. We have Intelligence, 45. Education, Knowledge, Perception, Flexibility, 9. Nine is about, you know, almost coming to a completion or an ending of some kind. So we could be learning something new. We could just be reading a lot. You know, we're all in lockdown, basically. Uh, being flex flexible in your education and uh, increasing your education, your higher knowing, and perceiving things in a different way. Could be really maybe broadening your horizons during this time. Maybe some of you lost your power. I see the candle there. So you have nothing else to do but read. Or maybe you lost it for a while for some reason during this lockdown. For some of you. On the bottom here we have choice. 17. 
free will, courage, willpower, and change. And we have eight, which is about taking action, travel, communication. So some of you here are taking action and making a choice with free will and courage and willpower to make change. And it could be either in education or um, increasing your knowledge in some way, learning something new gaining new percep you know, perceptions on different uh, subjects, things. I'm getting um, like politics for some reason. I don't know. Um, being more flexible in your beliefs. Making changes here. Wow. Some of you could have Sagittarius in your chart. Because I'm looking at this horse and I'm thinking of Sagittarius. So it could be like your moon sign or your rising sign or something like that. All right, so, okay, let's get, I feel like, too, uh, you're wanting to, like, empower yourself so you can empower others with your knowledge in some way. Hmm. All right. All right, let's see what's going on with Taurus. What are the universal energies and messages, advice, guidance from spirit, from the universe? For Taurus at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What are the messages, advice, guidance from the universe, from spirit, for the Taurus Collective? Oh, that's too many. I just want one for the Taurus Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. One card. There we go. Let's see what we got. Keep your commitments. Hmm. So i feeling, you know, being committed to whatever journey, whatever change here or choice you're making, even if it's improving your intelligence or your empowerment or something here <coughs> to keep committed to the journey here. Also keep commitments in general, whatever that means for you. Some of you have a hard time keeping commitments and it can, I don't mean just necessarily in relationship, like maybe like appointments and plans and things like that. We have be true to yourself. So again, being true to who you are, your beliefs, what you're committed to physically, mentally, emotionally, broadening your horizons, learning more. <coughs> Sorry. Um, about your beliefs and what you believe in. So you actually know exactly what you're talking about, I feel here. All right, so let's see what's going on with Taurus. With Taurus. What is going on with Taurus? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Let's clarify. <coughs> I'm just going to tickle in my throat. Wow. I feel like maybe some of you may want to do something in communications. Maybe even being like a group leader or something like that. And it could be, you know, political. It could be environmental. It could be um, anything here. But you want to know exactly what you're speaking about before you take on any kind of position like this. So some of you pe could be gaining that knowledge that you need to be able to speak free and clearly and know exactly what you are um talking about maybe you want to empower others so maybe you want to be like a mo motivational speaker or something like that maybe you thought about it and you're like hmm i don't know all right so let's look look into love here so what is this divine in love divine divine love <laughs> yeah divine love here uh taurus what is this energy about king of wands so very fiery, passionate energy, maybe between you and another king or queen here, doesn't matter. Fiery, passionate, go-getter uh, kind of energy, goes after what they want, a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. And I had said uh, flame at the beginning, very passionate flame between the two of you, and there's the flame there. So we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, so something, something may be a little out of balance though here. All right, so... Um, too many, too many. <clears throat> what else here for Taurus? Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? 
That's about something being out of balance. Five of Swords. Should I? I'm getting this a lot now in these readings. Should I stay or should I go? Should I fight for this or should I just let it go? Kind of energy. All right. Oh, so we got the Five of Pentacles. So abandonment. Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Five of Pentacles energy is about, you know, loss, abandonment. Feeling neglected, lonely, left out in the cold. Oh boy. I thought this was going to be good, but let's see what's going on here, Taurus. But now we have the Knight of Wands moving forward. A lot of drive, ambition. It could have been you were involved with somebody <clears throat> that breadcrumbed you. And now you're like, okay, do I stay in the situation or do I let it go? Because you always feel like kind of like left out in the cold and lonely and abandoned. Again, the Knight of Wands is that in and out kind of energy. Or this is you just deciding to move away, move on from this energy. This divine presence could be you knowing your divine worth and value and having self-love and self-worth. Okay, so different energies there. Oh, all right, what else? The star, so this. Healing energy here, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. Hmm, so why is the star here? Can this be healed? Not too many. Will this be healed? Will this be healed? Hey man, pause, break, reflecting, enlightenment, new perspectives. Jeez, what's going on here for you, Taurus? Wow. Okay, so we have the sun here. That is ultimate healing in the King of Swords. So I feel like here, <clears throat> somebody could have been breadcrumbing and someone here didn't know whether or not to leave or go or stay or fight for it or just turn their back because of this energy, in and out energy maybe. You know, feeling like it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off with the hangman, or it's just on a pause and a break right now. Or it could be because of the current situations in the world. But we have two cards here of massive healing here with the star and the sun. Divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, ultimate energy here, the sun, happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family. Most positive card here. So to have the sun and the star... And then we have the King of Swords. And I said Divine Presence could be Divine Energy. And when I get the King, Queen, Ace, Swords is Divine Energy to me. So it could be Divine Interference here. Um, divine Intervention, rather. Shedding light with the star and the sun to bring clarity, truth, healing. Divinely guided energy. So maybe somebody here decided to take a little break from this person. And maybe leave them out in the cold because they weren't um, committing or they were breadcrumbing, and now somebody's gained truth and clarity, okay, uh, you know, you might have been holding back, might have been holding back from this person, and now they're like, uh-oh, I might lose my person. Now realizing this is a divine love, and now coming back and wanting soulmate union between two. So I feel here somebody finally, <clears throat> finally probably held back from somebody, Maybe, I'm not getting blocked them, but maybe took back their energy, held back from them. Maybe they were just getting breadcrumbed. Finally gave them the same kind of energy of holding back and not responding to them or whatever here. And now the other person's gained the truth and clarity, divine energy of, okay, this is a divine energy, divine love. And I actually want now this soulmate union. I'm not getting that they had a third party. I think maybe they just were um, maybe a little afraid of commitment or having something serious kind of energy. And now, <laughs> now we want this divine love, this divine soulmate union. All right. So, so, and I had just said here with the eight of wands, free will, courage, willpower change. So what is this choice and intelligence? It's taking action, travel, communication, so could be learning something over the internet or something like that, or maybe uh, 
learning new things online. But this is travel action communication. We have the horse here about uh, courage, change, willpower. Eight of swords. So I feel like <clears throat> two eights here. So massive uh, making changes coming out of the stuck energy, stuck in your head of mental entrapment. Yeah, I feel like some of you want to bring justice into the world in some way, shape, or form. So wanting to reset yourself to zero and to take a leap of faith, a new beginning, jumping right in here. That's what I'm feeling. Some of you feel like it's your mission to bring justice to the world, but before you do that, you really need to sharpen up your um, knowledge, perception in some way, shape, or form. So again, with the justice, clarity, and balancing out scales. Wow. Okay. Whoever that makes sense for, but that's what I'm getting. We have three eights. We have eight, eight, eight. Wow. Okay. So what else here? The moon. So, you know, again, there may be still a few things here you need to uncover with the moon energy, like not totally yet seeing things clearly or seeing the path clearly on how to get there. But again, listen to your spot, listen to your gut, your intuition, your how you're knowing. Could be about maybe you're not telling anyone. This is secret energy too, so you could not be telling anyone what you're doing. Um, or secrets coming to light, or maybe you found out some secrets about something that made you want to try to make a change in the world. Kind of energy. All right, so I feel like the path is being illuminated for you. Maybe you're, you know, connected to the moon somehow. Queen of Pentacles, king or queen, doesn't matter. And that's your energy. So again, uh, having value, worth, um, stability, being smart, practical, analytical, uh, pacing yourself, not rushing, learning something new. Uh, it could be about education, work, career, finance. All right, what else here? The Taurus. King of Pentacles. Wow. King and Queen. So you could be actually working with somebody who is your equal. Could actually be your person over that was is over here. You know, now once you come into soulmate union, you may now be a power couple, maybe leaders try to trying to bring justice some way into the world, like being leaders, uh, motivational speakers, uh, or something like that. To bring um, awareness into the world about certain subjects. Yeah, because now we have the emperor, emperor, empress here. So taking lead, control, charge. Right now, you're probably um, assessing, evaluating, analyzing the whole situation, what exactly you need to do. Here, again, listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Maybe not telling anyone either. It's a secretive kind of energy. The lovers, exactly. I feel like this is a soulmate power couple here. And the empress. Wow. So we have the emperor and the empress here becoming once was in and out energy now realizes the divine connection divine love coming together as a power couple and making a conscious choice to improve your knowledge perceptions education whatever here to bring bring light into the world in some way wow all right so keep your commitments and be true to yourself taurus what is that about? <clears throat> what is that about? For Taurus. For Taurus. And it may have to do with whatever's going on in the world today, whether it's the pandemic, it's political, it's, you know, seeking out the truth in situations of the world. I feel like here, you know, you could be starting your own, like, YouTube channel uh, or something like that or um, blog or vlog or something like that website all right what is going on with Taurus keep your commitments and be true to yourself yeah keep your commitments because I think maybe you know five of cups sadness regrets uh remorse <clears throat> it's like somebody waiting looking out the window waiting so maybe maybe you weren't so good at keeping commitments in the past and you know people are waiting for you Taurus in the past and you never showed up <laughs> All right, so what else here for Taurus? Judgment. So making a final decision, judgment call, forgiveness, resurrection kind of energy. 
Yeah, so making a judgment call to be true to yourself. Who you truly are. All right, so what else for you, Taurus? Nine of Pentacles. So very, this is independent energy, but it doesn't have to be. You could still be um, in a relationship and still be a very independent person. So having stability, growth, wealth, expansion, um, taking care of yourself, having everything you need in your own right. Ace of Cups. So brain of beginning could be in love, spiritual energy, divinely guided energy, feeling fulfilled, peace, happiness, joy, harmony. <clears throat> In every single way i feel like whatever you're doing here is leading you to your ultimate happiness for our cups so i feel like you know whatever you were doing before feeling bored complacent in life in general now we have the ace of swords so again here's that divine energy oh page of swords stepping in so open honest truthful, truthful communication again again with being true to yourself and maybe learning something new online it could be spying maybe you're like Again, I'm getting like maybe being like some sort of citizen reporters or something, you know, shedding truth and light and clarity on subjects of the world. This page of swords energy could be, you know, doing that work, like work, uh, bringing out secrets and things like that. Wow. Bottom of the deck, death. So ending of old ways and beginning of a whole new way of life. Some stress, fear, worry, and anxiety about things, though. Because we are ending a whole new world, starting a new world. We are going into a new world. Page of Cups. So, you know, loving communication here. Peace, harmony, joy, bliss. Ace. Of, so now we have the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever you're going to do here will learn, will uh, lead to long-term stability, growth, abundance for the long term. Here. So, wow. A lot of energies for you, Taurus. I feel like finally a power couple coming into their power shedding light into the world after a period of maybe breadcrumbing or not realizing the divine connection, how much of a divine connection this is. Finally, someone realizing it, coming together, being a power, power couple to shed some sort of light into the world, shedding truths and clarities and on all, all kinds of things, I feel. Wow. Wow, Taurus. Okay. Well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.